Hello and welcome to this week's special presentation. My name is Jim Penna. I'm the manager of retirement services here at VectorVest, and I'm very happy to be hosting this week's topic, which is titled, Keep Your Eye on the MTI. Now this week's presentation is going to kind of piggyback off of last week's presentation where we talked about information and the value of that commodity to have in this market. And it was uh, from Gordon Gecko, the fictional character from the movie Wall Street, when he said the most valuable commodity I know of is information. So we're kind of going to build on that this week. Uh, my goal in this presentation is to illustrate how to use the valuable commodity that we call here at VectorVest, the MTI, or the Market Timing Indicator. Okay, what we also refer to as the underlying trend of the market. So it's a very important uh, piece of information to have. And what I would like to do is take a look at today's situation, where the market is, because we get so many questions about, you know, when does that bottom come in? How do we recognize that bottom? Often it's for the more, a little bit more of an aggressive investor looking to bottom fish. And we've had some opportunities uh, recently, one of them I'll talk about, and we'll look for the next opportunity. Okay, so what I want to do here today is, again, compare today's situation and look back on what we've learned over the years following this relationship of the market movement along with the MTI. That historical look will help us make better decisions in the future, and that is always the goal for all of us here at VectorVest. First, a quick definition of the market timing indicator, the MTI. It is designed to measure the overall strength and direction of the market. It combines the vector vest composite price, relative timing, and the buy-sell ratio into a single indicator, which ranges from zero to two. Now, the underlying trend of the market is up when the MTI is above one and down when the MTI is below one. So the strength of a trend is, of course, reflected by the level of the MTI. Okay, from there, let's go ahead and jump into the program. We'll begin on the home page, and we're in real time here, and we see the markets are all in the green today. A uh, big up day in the market. We do have yellow lights across the board, and even with that up day, the color guard is neutral, and VectorVest does not advocate buying any stocks at this time. What I want to do here is just talk about the color guard here and show you the the MTI column here, again on that zero to two scale, it is currently below one and has been for a while now. When we come to the trend header, the second column under the trend header reads down. That is the underlying trend. It's down because the MTI is below one. And as I noted, MTI is created through a formula that combines the price of the composite relative timing and the buy-sell ratio of the vector best composite and gives us this very important piece of information. And as I speak, we are currently in an MTI or underlying trend, I should say, to the downside, uh, along with all of our other indicators as well. So that's what we look for on the home page. Um, I'll say it again later, but I strongly urge you to uh, each and every day, especially on Fridays with the extended view, we have our daily color guard report as well as the Friday night timing the market. I strongly urge you to take advantage of that information uh, that, we, that we give out to you every day, every trading day. Um, and from here, I'm going to go into a market timing graph. So let's begin here. As we look at the market timing graph, we can see that the overall trend of the market since the high we hit back in November of 2021 has been in a downtrend. We also know that it's been a volatile market and there have been opportunities for the more aggressive, more disciplined trader to profit on some of these uh, short-term rallies that we've seen in this downtrending market. So let's take a look at right now, and then I'll, I'll move backwards and look at the historical view of it to try to learn from the past. And a lot of you know I like to use quotes in my special presentations. I wanted to use the quote that talked about, you know, those who ignore the past are doomed to repeat it, but it's attributed to so many different people and phrased so many different ways that, but that's my goal. That's what I want to do here. So what we're going to do is look at, at the current movement of the composite versus the MTI and how we can use this information to make better decisions. 
So what we're seeing here, if I go back to the low that we saw on June the 16th on the VectorVest composite, that recent low from what was at that time an all-time high on the VectorVest composite, what I see here is the MTI all the way down at 0.38 on that 0 to 2 scale. And of course, we also see relative timing and buy-sell ratio uh, at very low levels as well. So as I use that information and move forward, what I want to focus on is using the MTI and trying to recognize a bullish divergence over the price of the vector vest composite, again, as it relates to the MTI. So right now, what we're seeing is the MTI having pretty much bottomed out from that low at around 0.38, and it's begun to move higher. It's up to, as we speak, 0.61, and we can see the movement of the MTI moving along with the market overall from that low has traded higher. Of course, certainly not in a straight line, but it has traded higher. Now, a couple of things can happen from here. As we saw on the home page, the markets are up today. We still have yellow lights and we'll wait for the proper indicators such as green lights. You know, certainly the primary trend up, then green lights, maybe the RT kicker, DEW. These are all important signals depending on your uh, objectives in your type of investment style. So we'll see if the market follows through, but that's the key, waiting for the follow through. But keeping in mind the real world scenario that we're in with inflation where it is and all of the other headwinds, whether they be geopolitical or macro, whatever they are, we could just as easily, as we've seen from these other shorter term rallies, a new low. And that's the scenario I want to focus on. Okay, so where do we go from here? What can we learn from history to keep us prepared? So what I'm going to do is take us to a different time frame in a market timing graph. And I'm going to show some, you know, over, over a period of time, going back as far as 2002 to the dot-com bubble. And what I'm looking at is a low from, from a recent high in the composite. On July 24th, I can see that the MTI was down, again, at 0.34 on that date. Right. Now at that time it had bottomed out and began to move up okay and we did have a bit of a rally would have been a good had you waited for the follow-through if you could have made it through this turnover a movement to the upside. But what we didn't see there which is what we want to look for now is as I take us to the indicator that we're talking about from that low and with the MTI hitting a low there I'm going to fast forward to October 10th. What we see here is the VectorVest composite hitting a new low. And at the same time, what we also see is that divergence that I talked about on the MTI. So we have the MTI actually moving higher from that low that we saw back on the 24th, again at 0.34. On this date, the MTI is actually at 0.46 with the vector vest composite hitting a new low. That's what we define as a bullish divergence when you relate the MTI to the movement of the vector vest composite. And we can see what happened there. Now, we would wait for follow through. So on this date, it would be at least here on the next day, or perhaps if you're even a little more prudent, the day after that. But there was a nice move to the upside, and that bullish divergence on the MTI was a great signal and a great piece of information. Let's fast forward a little bit. I'm going to take us to 2008 and the financial crisis. Just another similar picture that I'm painting here on November 21st of 2008. The MTI was down at 0.20. Right? A very low level for the MTI as we saw through the financial crisis that we, we had the, the markets hitting new lows. But then the signal came once again as we move forward and that date was on March the 6th of 2009 when that bottom had hit there the MTI was at 0.31 so once again we had that bullish divergence from that low of the MTI so even though the composite was hitting a new low the MTI had closed higher on that day once again we wait for follow through and we know what happened back in March of 09 and how the market took off. So another great time, again, waiting for the follow-through to take advantage of that movement in the market. 
Let's take another look. It was January of 2016. Okay, once again, same scenario. The market hits a low here. And then on February the 11th, take it up one more day, we see from that low, the MTI, on, let's go back to that date and get the, the MTI was at 0.41. The market tried to rally a bit, pulled back, and on the 11th, the MTI was up at 0.53, but the market was hitting a new low. We wait for confirmation, probably for me, at least on the second day of trading. And the market had a really nice move, obviously, uh, throughout a long, steady upturn. Let's take another look at a more recent scenario here. For those who were lucky enough to be in the Jockey Club, listening to Mr. Steve Chappell, uh, made a great call and saw a very similar situation. And he called it out here when he mentioned that on January the 27th, just set my date here on the 27th, the MTI had hit a, hit a low, right? The, the Vector Vest Composite had been trending downward. On that day, it had hit a low. And the MTI was down at 0 0.41. On 314, take this up to the 14th of March, what Steve recognized was that the composite had hit a low, a lower low here on that date. And then the following day on the 15th, we see that the MTI is up at 0.57. And once again, that bullish divergence on the MTI. And again, those who were in the jockey club and were uh, disciplined enough to take advantage of Steve's insight had a very nice uh, albeit short term, but a very nice bottom fishing experience in the market. Okay, which leads us back to today. So if I zoom in here just a bit, once again, we have that recent low on the 16th. Does the market turn up from here? It's certainly possible. As we see today's activity, uh, you know, a very nice gap to the upside and we're moving higher. And it may continue. Heed the color guard. Wait for the confirmation to where you're comfortable based on your investment style, whether you're aggressive, prudent, conservative, or even more speculative. Heed the color guard based on your investment objectives. But if this market is to turn over again, keep an eye out for the next low and where the MTI is when that low comes. 0.38 was the recent low. If that bullish divergence is there, Wait for that follow through and it will help to answer the question for those looking to bottom fish and take advantage by using all of the information that VectorVest provides, you'll be able to take advantage in this case as well. VectorVest leaves a very long footprint. We can go back and see what the VectorVest views, what the market timing graph was telling us, what our indicators were telling us over many situations over the last 25 years. So my goal here is to help you take advantage of that historical information to use the current situation, relate it to some historical views that we were able to see on those market timing graphs, and do my best to make sure that you can make better decisions as you continue to build and grow your net worth. So thank you for taking the time, and we look forward to seeing you next time.